Pentecost. When we celebrate this beautiful festival, a very important festival for Christians or those who follow the Bible story, we realize that it comes from the Old Testament. Pentecost meaning 50th day. 50th day after the Passover. And in the New Testament, it is the birthday of the church. In the Old Testament, we read in Leviticus 23, it was the, the harvest festival. Later on became associated with the giving of the law. But the people of God celebrated it as a festival of joy, of harvest. But when we come to the New Testament, it is the birthday of the church. So we celebrate happy birthday to the church of Jesus Christ. Because on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came on God's people in a very special way. Now, let me share with you what does this mean. And let me share briefly three important things that we should keep in mind when we think of Pentecost for the followers of Jesus. Number one, God keeps his promises. Number two, God empowers all his people to be witnesses. Number three, God desires all of us to be one, one people that he has redeemed. Let me begin with the first one. Pentecost means that God fulfills his promises. Of what? The promise of the kingdom. Now for many people, they remember John 3.16. But do you know what Luke 3.16 is? In Luke 3.16, John the baptizer says, I am baptizing you with water, but the one who comes after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. That promise is actually fulfilled on the day of Pentecost, as we read about it in Acts chapter 2. Of course, the Lord Jesus reminds his disciples, Luke 24, wait for the promise of the Father. So on the day of Pentecost, one most important thing that happened was what God had promised that his kingdom will come in this very special way. Jesus inaugurated it, but now the kingdom comes in a very special way with the coming of the Holy Spirit. With the wind reminding you of Ezekiel 37 and the move of the Spirit at that time. With fire, tongues of fire, which also talks about God's coming in judgment. The inauguration of the kingdom. See, Jesus proclaimed the kingdom and his life demonstrated the kingdom. And then he died and he rose again, again vindicating the kingdom of God. So Pentecost reminds us that all of God's promise will ultimately be fulfilled. So this day we can remember God's final consummation of the kingdom is coming. And we can rejoice in it. Number one, God fulfills his promises. Number two, God empowers all his people to be witnesses to the whole world. In the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus reminded his disciples, Wait in Jerusalem and you will be full of the Spirit and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and uttermost parts of the world. And so in that case, all of God's people, and during the, the message of Peter, what does he say? He quotes from the prophet Joel and, rem, and other texts, reminding God's people that all people are now pulled into God's plan. All men and women, young and old, all of God's people are going to be empowered by the Spirit to be witnesses. Gender and age will not be a bar. In this world, that may be, but not in the kingdom. And so, remember the story in the Old Testament, Moses once said, I wish that all of God's people would be prophets or receive the Spirit. Well, Pentecost shows that. God wants to 
give all people different gifts of course but all will be witnesses this day we must remind ourselves that the holy spirit is coming upon us to make us effective powerful witnesses in our world all of us without any barrier the the, the, the and remember one one of the things that happened peter used scripture very wisely during these days we need help that we don't we are not unwise in our interpretations of scripture especially in a world undergoing a pandemic so the holy spirit let us be open to the work of the spirit to empower us for what very clear it is cross cultural mission remember he told them you need to go to samaria the disciples did not want to go through samaria you read luke chapter 9 the story at the end of that oh they want to call fire on the samaritans but yet they now had to go so in book of acts chapter 8 they are there calling another fire <laughs> the fire of the holy spirit so god will push us to go across cross barriers cultural barriers so that we take the gospel across barriers across cultures all over southern asia and beyond so pentecost means god keeps his promises pentecost means god empowers all his people and thirdly god desires all of us to be one as a people and the world one of the things that happened right after that we find god's people are together one they share sacrificially they give to those in need in other words there is a special sense of unity that comes with the holy spirit people of different cultures coming together by the power of the holy spirit that is the opposite of what happened in babel the tower of babel what happened there there the one people wanted to be great and then they could not understand each other here they speak in new tongues and different groups of people are being drawn together as one so there is an overturning of babel on the day of pentecost god is bringing us all together and changing us when we become one we will look at the other as our own we are willing to share sacrificially maybe that will push us to consider our lifestyle and push us to live a simpler lifestyle so that we can share even more generously eating with the different people eating becomes no barrier now, even peter struggled with that he could not eat very freely with the gentiles but god's spirit will push us so we will become a multilingual multiracial people we must repent of our prejudice very often that we have towards people of other countries or races or caste or whatever tribe but the holy spirit will draw us together and make us one signs and wonders took place in the church when we are open to the holy spirit he will do these wonderful things in our lives shall we pray together let us pray gracious heavenly father we want to thank you that we celebrate the birthday of the church the day when we can look back and say you were establishing the church of jesus christ with the power of the holy spirit and you showed us that you are faithful to keep your promises about the kingdom and we know therefore a day will come when you will usher in the kingdom the new heaven and new earth will come together thank you that you will empower all your people young and old men and women we will be empowered by your spirit to be witnesses across cultures and barriers you will do this so god through the power of your holy spirit and thirdly you want us to be one you desire to have one humanity in christ jesus father in heaven we pray for your holy spirit to come upon us as your people as we seek you so that your power your kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven in jesus name we pray father amen